Hi, so today we're going to discuss food delivery frustrations, both for the drivers and for the customers. Stick with us. Number one, houses. Well, when people live in a brick and mortar house or any kind of a house in a neighborhood, those houses tend to be the more easier deliveries for the driver. Usually they can find the address fairly easily with Google Maps or some other uh, GPS software. However, there are some big frustrations and that is sometimes the houses that don't have numbers. Now I don't know why you would live in a house and not have a number of your house anywhere on the house or on the curb or somewhere. There is a danger that the driver might accidentally deliver it to your neighbor. Make sure you have a number plainly on the outside of your house somewhere. Number two, apartments. Delivering to apartments can be very frustrating. Sometimes the building numbers are obscured by the carports. The carports come out from the building and they were uh, obviously built as an afterthought. There are some apartment buildings where the number of the building has nothing to do with the apartment. 517, you would expect that to be in building number five, right? Well, no, it's in building number eight. There's a map. It shows all the building numbers, what apartments are in those building numbers. Even the map that they publish is useless. Number three, hotels. And delivering to hotels is usually fairly straightforward. Uh, drivers deliver to them all the time. Drivers can deliver right to your hotel room. They just go in, take the elevator. They've got on the app what your room number is because you put that in and then they deliver. Number four, motels. Motels is another place that drivers deliver to. They're usually not very difficult either, but motels are a common place that drivers have to deliver to. Businesses. Drivers with food delivery also sometimes deliver to businesses. Those are a little bit more complex than houses, hotels, or motels because a business may be in a skyscraper or uh, sometimes uh, there's a, a row of stores and you have an address uh, 1322 Bell Street and you get there and there's a line of stores and the driver doesn't know which store the customer is in because the customer didn't say Sweet C or whatever. So make sure that if you're ordering food, you make it clear how they can find you. Number six, schools including colleges. Very frustrating places to deliver are schools and colleges. It says something like uh, bring to the office or bring to the gym. And the driver has no clue where the office or where the gym is in this big building. So those are always very frustrating to trying to find the customer in a school or a community college. It's so just difficult places to deliver. Number seven, mobile home park. A very frustrating place to deliver are mobile home parks. They tend to have large and annoying speed bumps every 10 feet, and that's a problem. And sometimes the house numbers are just chaotic. They don't seem to follow any particular pattern. So delivering to mobile home parks is very frustrating. RV parks. RVs, trailers, and uh, similar type of uh, vehicles sometimes park in these uh, special parks. Sometimes people are coming from out of town, or sometimes they're living there for several months, or just that's their place of residence. Those are RV parks, and drivers often have to try to figure out where to find customers in RV parks. Number nine, truck stops. Sometimes a trucker comes into town and wants to order some food. He doesn't have any way to get anywhere because he can't drive his truck to McDonald's. So make sure if you are ordering food, you give some sort of clear directions for the driver. One of the best things is have the driver call you when they arrive at the truck stop, and that way you can guide them in. But delivering to truck stops can be 
very frustrating for drivers. Number 10, other restaurants and bartenders. Sometimes people who work at restaurants get tired of eating the restaurant food where they work. So they will order food delivered from another restaurant to be delivered to them. I've even delivered to bartenders. Now drivers aren't the only ones to get frustrated. Sometimes the customers, or what Grubhub calls the diners, they get frustrated too. And here are some of the common frustrations for people who are ordering restaurant food or groceries to be delivered to their house via Instacart, Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, etc. I found about four of them. I'm sure there are more. If you find more frustrations or would like to vent about something, please do so in the comments below. We do want to hear from you about your frustrations in either delivery or in uh, picking up. Here are the four frustrations. Number one, lack of driver communication. Nothing's worse if you order food and it says it's going to deliver it at 12.15 and now it's 12.35 and you haven't heard anything from the driver. Uh, you can see on the app that the driver is waiting at the restaurant. It's really important for the driver to communicate to you, the customer. No communication from the driver is very frustrating for the customer. You want to hear communication. You want to hear what's happening. What is the hold of? Why is a restaurant taking extra long for your order? It's very frustrating if there's just no communication whatsoever. If you're a driver, make sure you communicate with your customers. Number two, taking too long. Well, that goes along with communication, doesn't it? Taking too long. Uh, if a driver seems to be taking forever to deliver the food, that is very frustrating. To be fair, there are many reasons why a food delivery can legitimately be running late. And the number one reason is the restaurant itself might be very busy and just slow at preparing your order. Another reason is the driver might be taking his time or be doing more than one food delivery at the same time. And that's not the driver's fault either. Sometimes apps like DoorDash and Grubhub will stack orders. Sometimes not even from the same restaurant, but just restaurants near each other. That's only the fault of Grubhub or DoorDash or Uber Eats for doing that in the first place. But they do it because they don't have enough drivers. Number three, no one picking up the order. Well, there's a little video, which I did show once before. It's a TikTok video, which I put right here. And here you can see some people have ordered food and no one picked up the food. So why did that happen? So that happens mostly because of no tipping. The driver, he or she is probably losing money by delivering that order to you. So the drivers tend not to pick up those orders and therefore you get something like this where you have a closet full of orders that nobody picks up. So if you want somebody to pick up your food and deliver it, put a nice tip on the order. Number four, wrong or missing items. Missing items, including missing drinks, is a very frustrating thing and it happens sometimes. If that happens, you can complain to the driver or you can complain to the restaurant. Sometimes complaining to the restaurant is your best option. Sometimes they'll say, okay, look, you can have a free meal or a free drink next time you come to our restaurant. But there are some restaurants that don't even allow the driver to see what they're picking up because the restaurant seals the bag. But the downside of that is that the driver can't double check to make sure you really do have two cheeseburgers in that bag. So there you have it, food delivery frustrations. I hope you found that interesting. See you in the next video.